The stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices, for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Fall on your knees, O oh, he. His law is love, and his gospel is peace. Chain shall he break for the slave, his our brother, and in his name all oppression shall cease. Sweet hymns of joy in grateful chorus raise we. Let all within us praise his holy name. For Christmas, everyone, and we want to just welcome you and thank you for coming as we celebrate the birth of our Christ tonight. If uh, you haven't, uh, if you have been here in the past, uh, tonight will be a little bit different than what you're used to. Um, tonight, we're going to follow the, Christ the Christmas story through uh, the alphabet, uh, beginning with A. And uh, now the point is this, is you can listen to the first letters, uh, the words with the first letters of the alphabet as we walk through the story, but that's not the point. The point is to worship. And so our hope and our goal is that you would worship. Now kids, maybe you want to hear those words that might correspond to that next letter in the alphabet just for 
for your own uh, fun and enjoyment, um, to keep you engaged. But uh, tonight is a time that we gather to worship our Lord. So let's pray. Father in heaven, we come before you and we thank you for the privilege of worshiping you. And we recognize the miracle that took place over 2,000 years ago when the Christ child came into this world to give his life as a ransom for many. And so, Father, we come before you tonight to worship and to adore you. In Christ's name, amen. A is for angel. The angel Gabriel began the story by telling Mary. Now please join me in this congregational reading out of Luke 1, 28-33. In the sixth month, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You are not the favor of God. You will be the child and the birth of the Son. You are to give the name of Jesus. You will be great and the call of the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give you the most high of David. And he will reign in the Lord's house in the earth. The in Judea during the time of King Herod. Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. People traveled from far and wide to get to Bethlehem. At that time, there was a census, which means an official counting of all the people. That was the earthly reason so many people came to Bethlehem. But the heavenly reason is that the prophecy of Micah had to be fulfilled. But you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, sorry, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be the ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. They came riding on a donkey. <laughs> a donkey carried the family on their long journey. Mary and Joseph traveled uh, 107 miles along the Jordan River to get from Nazareth to Bethlehem. It's a pretty long journey. They must have been exhausted. That's how everyone must have felt when they arrived. It would take about 36 hours of walking to go that far. That's three days in a row doing nothing but walking.
faith. While they were there, the time came for Mary to give birth. She gave birth to a son, her firstborn. She wrapped him in a blanket and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. F is for family. Because of the virgin birth, Mary and Joseph began their new adventure as a family with baby Jesus. Their family would not only bless the whole world, but your family and my family too. That is good news. Listen to what the angel said to the shepherds. This is what the angel said. Let's read this together. Luke 2, 10 through 14. There were shepherds camping in the neighborhood. They had set night watches over their sheep. Suddenly, the angels stood around them. God's glory blazed around them. The shadows were terrified. The angels said, Don't be afraid. I'm here to announce the great joy of the world. It's meant for everybody worldwide. A Savior has just been born in David's town. A Savior who is inspired. At once, the angel was joined by a huge angelic choir, singing praises to God. Glory to God in the heavenly light. Peace to all men and women. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. Joyful all ye nations rise, join the triumph of the For a moment, if the angels did not bring a message of hope and there was no Messiah, we would be lost in our sin, separated from the presence of God the Father for all eternity. But because of God's grace, we have 
Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. We are reminded of the joy that Jesus brings to the world. K is for king. Little do the people know, but baby Jesus was a king. Most kings are born in palaces, surrounded by servants. But Jesus was born in the stable, surrounded by dirty, smelly animals and shepherds. Most kings rule with power and fear. Jesus rules with mercy and love. Now we light the Advent candle of love. Jesus summarized his ministry by saying, Love God and love your neighbor as yourself. M is for manger. God used a dirty, dusty, smelly manger to teach us about humility. This king came in humility and was accessible to all, unlike the kings of this world. We're going to sing away in a manger, all of us, but you can stay seated for this one. It keeps you awake. We're going to sing two melodies. There are two melodies of Away in a Manger, and they're both beloved melodies. The first verse, we will sing with the first melody, and the second verse, we'll sing with the second melody. And if you're lost, just hum along. birth, and that's what happened. The Son of God was born into this world. 
The first Noel, the angels did say to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay, in fields where they lay, keeping their sheep on a cold winter's night that was so deep. Noel, Noel, born is the king of Israel. Offering. Just as the Magi brought an offering, they gave gifts to the baby, so this baby would offer himself as the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. light the advent candle of peace. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Luke 19, 38. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Q is for quiet. In quietness, let's take time to confess and allow God to speak to us. Revealed, God revealed to us what true love looks like by giving us Jesus. Jesus is love and reveals to us the way to love one another. S is for, well, don't need one, but. S is for star. One special star guided wise ones to come to see the baby. The Magi from the east, and they lived far away, but they brought gifts to Jesus because they knew that he would grow up to be a king. Join me as we read Matthew 2, 9 through 11. They set off, then the star appeared again, the same star they had seen in the eastern skies. It led them on until it hovered over the place of the child. They could hardly contain themselves. They were in the right place. They had arrived at the right time. They entered the house and saw the child in the arms of Mary, his mother. Overcome, 
they kneeled and worshipped him. Then they opened their luggage and sent a gift, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. for table. When Jesus grew up, he invited all to his table. He gave his disciples bread and wine as they remembered the Passover and told them to remember him always. This communion table is a time when people, God's people, come together in unity. They come as they are reminded of God's great love. God demonstrates his own love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And it was because of love that Christ came vulnerable. Vulnerable means able to be hurt. It means helpless. Jesus became vulnerable when he was born into this world. Philippians 2.6 says that Jesus, being in the very nature of God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. And so the wise ones, just like those wise ones, we stand in awe that God literally wrapped himself up in humanity to die for us. That was his mission because he was the Christ, 
the Messiah. As a matter of fact, X stands for Christ because it's the first letter in the Greek alphabet. It's the first letter in the word Christos. And so God's people have been using that letter X to remind us of Christ. And so we light the candle of joy because Jesus brings so much joy into this world. And it's because of joy, and it's because of love, and it's because of hope that we have the Christ. And so tonight, as we light the Christ candle, we would like to share in Christ's love, and to share in Christ's joy, and to share in the hope of Christ with you as we light candles together. Grace Fellowship has a tradition. I don't know how we're going to do it, but we seem to do it every year. That we like to gather in a circle and light the candle together as we remember what Christ has done for us. Why don't we stand and gather in a circle? A woman and an angel, a promise and a song, a word too grand for any mind to hold, a tax law and a journey, a stable and some straw. These tell the greatest story ever told. Oh, sing glory in the highest. He is come, our great Messiah. Come bow before this awesome mystery. Mighty God and fragile baby, here a lowly manger holds, and it's still the greatest story ever told. A hillside and some shepherds. A blaze of blinding light, angels singing carols in the cold. Eternal revelation to man as dull as stone, the glorious greatest story ever told.
Well, Christ is the light of the world. And as you look around and you see these many candles lit, let it be a reminder to let the love and the light of Christ shine through you. And that's why you means you. You sons, you daughters, you mothers, you fathers, worship Christ. I want to just read one short Bible verse from you tonight out of Hebrews. It caught my eye this, this morning as I read. Hebrews 1.6 says this, When God brings his firstborn into the world, he says, Let all God's angels worship him. Let all of God's angels worship him. And so as we gather together to let the light of Christ shine, may we worship him as well with our zeal, with our passion, to allow the light and the love of Christ shine. Father in heaven, we come before you and we give you thanks for, for the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for what he has done for us, the life change that he has brought to so many of us. And so, Father, we give you thanks that you were willing to come into this world to wrap yourself up in humanity, to live a sinless life, and to give your life as a ransom for many. And so tonight, if you have never given your life to Christ, I challenge you just where you stand, just say, Lord, thank you. I give my life to you. My friends, these candles may go out, but your love and your light for Christ can burn forever. Have a merry, merry Christmas. I ask that you be safe as you leave the parking lot. The parking lot is full. Please be patient and be very careful and have a safe trip wherever you're going. May God bless you. Merry Merry Christmas.